Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to make a, a video about how to uh, emboss uh, models, objects, designs, <laughs> whatever creation you have. Um, and this is a, a software that you won't usually see me uh, showcasing. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that I do most of my work in either Blue Sky Plan, when it regards to dental, dental specific things, and then Mesh Mixer as well. I throw in a few other softwares here and there, like Tinkercad, um, but 3D Builder is one that comes on any Windows 10 PC, uh, free software, and uh, it does allow us to do a few things that are pretty handy. Um, so I might make a video here and there to show some of those uh, examples. Um, but for now, the thing I wanted to focus on is adding text or adding a, a logo um, or a, a, a yeah a text or logo basically. So let's first let's go ahead and uh, I've opened up the software um, and I'm going to say let's create well this is a new scene. So um, we're going to insert an object. I'm going to find something that I've created in the past. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but let's go ahead and just say, um, here's a model. Uh, okay, so you're, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure your units are proper. Um, now you can set the defaults, but make sure it's in millimeters you know, typically or whatever you've made your model in. Otherwise it will scale things and then things will get kind of messed up. So this is in uh, millimeters. Okay, let's import the model. And before I go any farther, this isn't, uh, this isn't necessary, but I am gonna go ahead and paint this model simply for visibility, because this light gray on light gray gets a little bit lost. And so for the purpose particularly of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and change the color. So I've changed the color here. I'm just gonna click on the model, and that's it. Um, this little slider bar, don't really worry about it. You'll see that it just kind of changes what gets selected and whatnot. It's for adding face groups and stuff. But anyway, uh, generally speaking, don't need that. I'm just going to click color. And so now I have a model that, you know, we can look at and, um, uh, you know, visualize a little better. So a couple little curse, uh, you know, navigation things. My left mouse button allows me to move things around. Right lets me translate. And the wheel allows me to slide in and out. Um, yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, and I actually forget that sometimes because I don't, I, I use this very little, um, and a lot of things I don't need to navigate around a lot for what I'm doing, but anyway, so now we know how to move things around. So I'm going to go ahead and add first, let's go to object and let's, uh, click on, sorry, edit emboss. And so right now the default is say we want to add text. So Baron Grutter DDS. Okay, and let's hit tab, so it's changed. And now we can sort of move this around to wherever we want. We can use the arrows to expand it and whatnot. And then move it however we want. There are these other widgets down here that allow us to um, move things as well. And um, yeah, there's, there's various things that you can do. I'm not going to get into all this and I'm even blanking on some of it, but, um, this is like the size and you can also make it so that it's, um, there's different, like how it projects outward. If you want it more like a sphere, um, if you want it cylindrical, I don't honestly n haven't really played too much with it, but, uh, planar is the typical one. And then, um, you can also set it to here we go z-axis so if i set it to negative 50 hit accept it will now be um em engraving okay so let me show you what this looks like we'll just hit emboss it's going to do the work and then i'll do it again on the other side of the model just to show you so um again that's engraved now I can do all that right in Blue Sky Plan, um, so that's not really something I need it for, but that is an option. So I can go ahead and do the same thing up here, but this time let's set it as regular 50. And let's hit emboss. And now this time it's going to be projecting outward. So you have both options. Um, I will tell you that I typically prefer to do uh, engraved things because then they don't stick out. It makes printing a little bit easier. You will notice you have little areas in the inside of letters that get a little bit weird. Um, but anyway, point is I prefer this. You can even see how the insides of the D areas get a little bit wonky, but 
So that's text. Text is not a um, is not actually the reason I was making this video. Someone asked um, in a, on a Facebook group how to add a logo to a model. So that's really what, on, what I'm gonna focus on. Um, and I'm gonna show you both on the flat area, because that's easy, and then um, also on the um, uh, rounded area. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click emboss again. But instead of this time, I'm not gonna do the, you know just the letters, the text, I'm gonna go to a pattern. Now it has, different objects you can already use, um, or we can go to load, and it's gonna give us the option to find an, uh, something. Now you can see the types of fi the file types it'll accept, and so what I recommend is you find one of your logo or whatever that's a PNG. Now make sure, and let me see if I've got this. If you open up this PNG file, you'll notice that it's all hash marked back here. That's because it's transparent. There is no data, only where there's the color is it same thing, uh, this one is not. See, it's a white background with black letters. It is important that you get a true transparent, um, you know, uh, PNG file. Like a JPEG won't, it won't work as well. It'll be harder. So uh, there are uh, online uh, tools where you can load an image and click, you know, convert to PNG. And you have to like select the background, what to delete, and it'll spit out the PNG file if you want to do that. So um, anyway, so that's what this files look like. So I'm going to click on this one, click on open, and there it is. It's ready to go. I can move it wherever I want. And so let's just put it right up here. You can rotate it if you want to, um, but I don't really care to do that right now. I just wanted to get it there. And so I can go ahead and let's say I want to engrave it. Negative 50, hit accept, click emboss. So just like before, no big deal. Um, it's just now engraving this um, model with uh, my logo. Now, a little bit trickier, the nice thing about this robot I want to show you is that sometimes, you know, the text, it's wrapping around the outside of this. Some softwares that allow you to move things around, or add, sorry, add things text, it ends up being flush, flat. But I just want to show you that that's not the case here. I'm going to just go ahead and bring this right on, should have just left it where it was. But um, now let's, uh, let's just leave it, let's scale it down a little bit. So it all fits on these teeth, and let's click emboss. Notice that when you have it as ex, when it's there, you go. It's cut in there, and let's do it one more time because I want to show you that when you do it um, projecting outward, it is a little bit easier to see. I do think that sometimes it's easier to position it with this view because I can see the model, get it where I want, and then flip it to being uh, engraved. Again, that's that's just my preference, um, but just something to consider. So here you go. There is my, um, my logo has been uh, embossed on, in this area. It's been engraved over here, and that's it. Okay, well, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, show you another software that you can add to your armamentarium. Um, just a, a reminder, uh, if you're simply closing models and adding text, I just do that within Blue Sky Plan. But when you have an object that's more complex, you've designed it in some other software, this is a great backup tool, okay? All right, thanks so much, bye for now.